I'm from a very small town. Practicing rural medicine was something that I always wanted to return to. Some of my family lives up in Wyoming on the Wind River Reservation. That actually was a big motivator for me to go into medicine in general, but also to participate in the TRUE program. I'm originally from the Ogden area, but I decided to go to school in Galesburg, Illinois, at a tiny little school called Knox College. And while I was there, I got really interested in rural medicine, and I decided to apply to medical school, and luckily got in here at the University of Utah. The TRUE program is timely and essential to the state of Utah. We have fewer primary care physicians per capita than any state in the U.S. If you wish to strengthen the primary care workforce in underserved communities, we need to, number one, recruit more students from those communities into medical school. Number two, you need to contextually prepare these students to work in these environments. The most important part about the TRUE certificate program is that immersive experience. So students rotate in either rural communities, tribal communities, or medically underserved areas. We hope that by exposing students early in their professional development and professional careers, that they have an affinity for that once they finish up their training. We give them an opportunity to really see what it's gonna be like to be a doctor and to really care and be compassionate for not only patients, but the communities that these patients are living in, which is where health starts. I think it's really important to have opportunities to learn about those communities in more depth than a general medical education because there's so many special considerations that come into play when you're caring for these populations. Medical students should be aware of any society, any tribe, any nationality that they're going into and be aware of their practices about health. With the True Students, we do go through um, introduction of the EMS system, the vastness of our jurisdiction, how much we cover, and especially the time it takes for us to get to patients' homes. We cover about 1,400 square miles here. It's really eye-opening for the True Students just because it gives them a better understanding of the healthcare in the rural areas and how much improvement we need out here. The week that I spent in San Juan as part of the Rural Immersion Trip with the TRUE program was one of my favorite parts of med school. I'm reflecting on improving even my listening skills and in communication with patients and remembering that even if they're presenting to you in office with like one specific issue, there's so much that goes into that and, and the importance of taking the time to connect with them and, and learn what those are. I pray that some of the TRUE students will be able to work here because we need good providers that can understand how we live and how we practice our wellness, how we go about our lives. Students who are in the TRUE program that are doing the longitudinal integrated clerkship, they'll spend a half a day to a day a week with me and patients. They take a history, do a physical exam, talk about social determinants of health. They get an opportunity to experience what primary care is like in medically underserved area. I've had opportunities to do a longitudinal family medicine shadowing experience. I've actually gotten to do a lot of hands-on care with patients. I've gotten to do ultrasounds on pregnant patients. I've gotten to do a lot of women's health care things that would not have been an option if I didn't do the TRUE program. TRUE has helped me be a better doctor and a better medical student because it has helped broaden my horizons. And often we focus on the negative and under-resourced aspect, but there are so many strengths and resources that these communities have. Going into my third year, I've had the opportunity to continue to work in underserved clinics, and I'm hoping to do some rural rotations and hopefully some tribal rotations in my fourth year to continue working on the things that I learned in my first couple years. The TRUE program has been my favorite part of my first year of medical school. It has provided the human aspect of medicine that I think many of us love and think of when we go into medicine that connection, that fulfillment, that is like the essence of the TRUE program. 
we're all going to see tribal, rural, and underserved patients in some capacity or another. Whether you're working at a big hospital in the city like Salt Lake, or if you're in a tiny town, you're going to see these patients. I think I would tell someone who is interested in potentially enrolling in the TRUE program that they should just do it. There's absolutely no downside to it. We learned so much. That's completely transferable to really anything you do in medicine. Our aspiration with the TRUE program is that one, more medical students choose primary care careers. Number two, that more of them go back to their communities and serve as physicians there. And number three, that they are retained in those communities. True students are incredibly passionate. They are inquisitive and they want to learn. They just want to soak up knowledge, both in the classroom and out in the community. The program then just enhances that. It gives them a lot of those tools that they really need and exposes them to things that a lot of them haven't really seen yet. If I was to describe the True program in two words, it would be genuine and connection. Fun and it's challenging. Impactful and inspiring. Sincerely healing.